Come and listen, listen to me, listen to my A B C, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my A B C. Come and find out about split digraphs with me. And today we're going to be looking at the split digraph E. So first up, we're going to have a look at some sounds that we already know. When we were learning about the split digraph A, we looked at some sounds that we call long vowel sounds. And these are other versions of the long vowel sounds we've seen, other ways of making them. So we have... Well done, my turn. A E I O and U. Let's have a look at these in words. Okay, let's have a look at these words. I'm going to get you to have a go at sounding it out first. So Well done, and my turn. D, A, day. Your turn. And my turn. B, each, beach. And your turn. And my turn. U, I, lie. And your turn. And my turn. T O toe. And your turn. And my turn. N U new. Well done, everybody. You are looking out for those long vowel sounds. Fantastic. Well done. You ready, stars, for your tricky star words? Here we go. Well done. It's out. My turn, out, your turn. Brilliant. And the next one. My turn, oh, your turn. Well done, fantastic. And now we're going to have a go at writing one of our tricky words. So here it is, we're going to look at it. We're going to say it. My. We're going to cover it. We're going to write it. And we're going to check it. Did you have a go at writing it as well? Oh, well done. Did you get the same as me? Yay. I think we'll be right. Here we go. Yes, look. My. Well done. Hello. Do you remember me? Yes, that's right. I'm Super E. And I help split digraphs to work properly. That's right. I help split digraphs to work properly. I am Super E. And today I heard you're learning about the digraph E. But this time it's a split digraph E, so you might need my help. It might look a bit like this. And what I do is I give my power to the E eh to make it say E. Would you like to have a go at a word? Let's give it a try. If I take out the space, which is why we call it a split digraph, because there's a sound that can go in the middle there. I'm going to put a sound here. is what that would be. 
but I'm going to become a split digraph. I'm going to help this E become a split digraph E. We're going to put a sound in there and we get E's, these. So it is a bit like the digraph E that you already know, but I've split it apart so that I can give it power from afar. So there's me giving that E eh power from afar to make it say E. We take that line out and we'll have a go at another one. Let's try. There we go. So I'm not at the end this time, but I'm still a split digraph. I'm still holding hands with this E eh to make it say E. Well done, guys. So we've got Eve. Mm. You see how we're holding hands? Eve. Mm. Even. Thanks, Super E. I think that's helped me to remember the split digraph E today. And when I think of the split digraph E, I think of athlete. The word athlete has the split digraph E in it. So I've been having a think about that word and all the things it means to me. What does athlete mean to you? What do you think it means, that word? That's right, it's somebody who's fit, athletic, and perhaps takes part in sports. I've got the names of three athletes. We're gonna have a go at reading their names and find out a little bit about them. So because they're names, we need a capital letter for the beginning of their name. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have a go at the first one. Give me a thumbs up if you can spot a split digraph, the split digraph E in that name. Yay, well done. I can too. Thumbs up. Here's the split digraph there. There it is. So this is E. They're holding hands to say E, even though... There's this letter in between them. They are still holding hands saying E. So let's have a go at reading this name. P e. And then we have to go back to read that one. So P E T Pete. Well done. So P E T Pete. Pete Reed is an Olympic rower. He was a gold medalist at the Olympics for his rowing. Here's a picture of Pete Reed. Well done. So you spotted the split digraph E in the name Pete. How about this name? Can anybody spot the split digraph E in that name? Show me a thumbs up when you see it. Yay, well done, me too. It's here, isn't it? There's the split digraph E. Let's have a go at reading it. St Eve. Should we try again? St Eve. Steve. Steve Ovette was an Olympic athlete and he set world records for his running. Wow, and he was an Olympic gold medalist too. Here's a picture of Steve Avette when he was doing his running. Okay, I've got one more name for you. I wonder if this name has got the split E in it. Let's have a look. Can you spot the split E in that name? Yay, well done, you spotted it. Even though it's a capital E at the beginning, it's a capital E because these two are holding hands to make the E sound. So we've got Eve. Well spotted, well done. It didn't catch you out that one, did it? So Eve, Eve. Eve Muirhead is a curler 
She doesn't curl hair. It's an Olympic sport, curling. It's really fun to watch. Eve Muirhead is from Scotland and she won a bronze medal in the Olympics when she was doing the game of curling. Here she is. We heard about Steve Ovette, a famous Olympic runner. We heard about Pete Reed, a famous Olympic rower. And we heard about Eve Muirhead, a famous Olympic curler. Have a go at reading this sentence about one of the athletes. It's Steve. Steve is an athlete. Athlete. Steve is an athlete. You can see the split diagraph E here and the split diagraph E here. Well done. Okay, guys, for our last activity, I've got some alien words here. So these are words that are not real. I've made them up got the basic of a word what's going to happen if we add the split e digraph if super e jumps on the end of all of these words what are we going to get well we know that the e that i can see in all of these words is going to become e I wonder what we're going to find are you ready so we've got cr l cr e l krell so that says krell with our e here. But if super e comes along, we end up with the split digraph e. So it becomes kreel, kreel. There you go, wow. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen to this one. Fl -e -n, flen. Saying E, eh, it's short. But what happens if super E comes along? What do you think it's going to become? This is going to say E, isn't it? Shall we see what it is? I can hear you doing some really good guessing as to what it might be. There it is. Can you see it? Ah, so now we've got the split digraph E. So we can read it. So we've got fl e n Fleen. Well done. Should we take a look at the next one. Okay, we've got the next one. Okay, we've got digraph at the beginning. Qu -e -d. Qued. So what's going to happen if super E jumps on the end? What's going to happen to our E? Well done. It's going to say E. Should we see what happens? So qued. Is going to become, there it is, can you see it? Now we've got the split digraph E. So qued, queed. Brilliant. Great alien word reading, everybody. Should we try the last one? Okay, so the last one we've got glep. Glep. <laughs> glep. So the E. Is short, but what's going to happen if super E jumps on the end? We're going to get a split digraph E. Well done. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it's there. Yes, it is. There it is. So now we can have a go at reading it with the split digraph E. So we've got gl e p gleep. Well done, everybody. Fantastic spotting the split digraph E today. Well done.